Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I woke up and thought that the Suron needs to be backflipped. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is modify this ramp that's just been sat here for ages. So I've taken all the wood off uh, and unfortunately the whole ramp is dead. The sides are just too rotten so we can actually make a full new ramp. These are all right because this wood has actually been undercover the whole time. So I won't need to cut all them, but we'd need to cut a whole new side out. So we've got some wood down here. We're going to go for a seven foot ramp, 12 and a half foot radius. Let's quickly fly through that, get that built, and then we can uh, get this flip underway. We need to measure a 12 and a half foot radius on this bit of string. Then we're going to tie it to a fixed location. After setting up your rope, you then put a pen in here. I've moved the wood just slightly across from where the radius starts. So that way, once we start drawing it, there's a bit of a lip there at the bottom. And this will ideally come out right at the top of here. Look, boom. If you continue this radius, that draws your perfect radius. This is an eight foot board, eight by four. I only want a seven foot lip, so we'll obviously cut off about there. So we'll get the saw out and we'll have a portable seven foot lip for the mini airbag. First bit done. Now the top half. Ah! Then we're left with this. Look at that. That's going to be such a nice lip. We should need to cut this down now so it's at the seven foot mark already. And then we'll do that to two more pieces and we'll have our template. So you got that one drawn. Let's just quickly get another bit of wood to mark out that bit on. So place that on your other piece of wood and just draw the line again. That's complete then. Next thing we do then is put that under there like this and then we're going to put that on top. Now this only works on grass but I'm just going to literally screw through and connect these up. Three each side. That's now stuck together. You've obviously got the screws sticking through, but this is going to be on the inside, so it doesn't matter. Don't do it on the pavement either. <laughs> You'll just drill into the floor. But anyway, we've got one side done. Now the next. What I'm doing now is going to take out all of these old slats that go all the way up. So we've lifted both the sides up, and then all we've got to do now is screw the slats in all the way down the front. Louis held it for a bit, and we've got two in there already that holds it all together so we just got to go one two three in there i think six seven in there and that's going to be perfect that, that looks so like it needs to be flipped on the suron look at that a few minutes later we've got all the slats in lined up perfectly that looks amazing next thing we need to do put this 12 mil ply on making it look all fresh right after a bit of wrestling with this wood We've got it on and it looks perfect. It is so well lined up. So we're just running up and down it now, putting in a few screws just to pull it into position. Right, so we now need to just cover up this last bit. We're going to measure the length needed and then we'll just cut it out of there. Bump straight on. Lean that on there. And we find we have a perfect fit. Final screw for the end of this build. Look at that, that's so nice. Seven foot lip. If you want a more in-depth look at how you build a ramp, just type Sam Pilgrim ramp build and I did like a full video on it. So now the ramp's built, we're gonna move it into position somewhere and give it a test on the Suron, see how good it is. Let's go. After a bit of a drive, we found a perfect location to set everything up. The ramp is just a little bit taller than the bag, which is quite scary. Um, We've got the sir on here. I've got some fresh upgrades actually. Look, I've got the steezy foot pegs here and a billet part for the front of the frame here from Electro MX, so thanks a lot guys. I need to hit this now though. I'm quite scared. It looks like a step down from here. Let me give it a run up and see. How long is that landing? Oh, it's massive. Let's give it a go then. Oh, 
perfect. Wow. I so wish that I didn't say I wanted to backflip. That's terrifying. Let me hit it a few more times to get used to it. That's massive as well. I might soften that bag a little bit. I'm scared now. My plan was to just flip and then we go and play on the bike, but it's just turned into a full day activity now. That's the speed trip. I've got to like... How can this, how can we just decide to do that out of the blue? It's so terrifying. Whoa! <laughs> Massive! Another jump on the bag. That's literally it. Cool. Right, I'm ready for this send then. It's quite a mighty one, so let's hope it works out. Flip. <laughs> what the? Oh! That's unreal. It's so chill. I actually, I can't believe that I just woke up and wanted to do that. And it's worked. <laughs> Let me see that. Action reaps. I'm speechless, I'm so happy about this. I've wanted to do it ever since I've been riding the Suron, but just too scared, but today was the day. I wanna hit it again and see if I can like, turn the bike a bit in the air, so like a bit of a flip take, I don't know. The Moto guys, I remember the freestyle motocross guys doing it and it looked well cool. Maybe that's pushing the limits, but I wanna do it, here we go. It feels so natural, just like using the throttle in the air. That's so cool. I bet it was like a bit of one, weren't it? Should we just slow-mo it directly behind? Yeah, cool. Wow, so freestyle moto now. Next up, in the future, I should try it on the Ultra B, which is a bigger, closer to motocross bike sized electric moto. Oh, that would be insane. But for now, I'm well pumped. Imagine the stuff we can do in the urban environments now. Or like if I find any jumps. <sighs> that is such a dream come true, actually. Right, while that ramp's set up, let's just do a nice big <laughs> suey. Oh, my arms ache. That was well funny then, I like, when I come in I rushed and grabbed the horn. Maybe we get a slow motion, front facing, silhouetted no foot can. Ooh. That face at the end was because these forks just bottomed out so hard. But Considering they're the standard ones, and I see most people change them on the Surons, I think these are actually well good. They're taking up most of the impacts. For, I mean, considering how big we're going on there now, well impressive. What a day. It's just, it's just unbelievable. I think I'm gonna do a finale flip just here. It's just too good. Oh, it's just... <laughs> So natural, it feels unbelievable. Wow, what a day, that is so cool. Just waking up, having to build a whole new ramp, and now that ramp can be used with that bag portably now, so you can set up spots in this ridiculous places. So happy about it, but that was a dream come true, flipping the sir on. So on that bombshell of absolute fun, excitement, throttle twisting, and a new learn, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments. And we sick you subscribe. See you in the next one.